Questions are concerned. held in separate cells. James and Jennifer Crumbly are now in the same county jail as their 15 year old son, Ethan Crumbly, the alleged shooter at Oxford High School. The couple was expected to appear for an arraignment on Friday. They were arrested early Saturday inside a vacant art studio in Detroit after a manhunt. Today, the owner of the studio was interviewed by investigators. His attorney said he was unaware at the time that the Crumblies were wanted. And confirmed his house is now being searched. And how are you pleading to count one? Not guilty. The Crumblies have pleaded not guilty to four counts each of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the shooting. Prosecutors say they provided the gun to their son as a gift and failed to secure it. In a letter to parents over the weekend, Superintendent Tim Throne said counselors concluded Ethan Crumbly did not intend on committing either self-harm or harm to others, despite teachers warning twice about disturbing behavior, including a violent drawing found on the morning of the shooting. Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel has offered to conduct an independent investigation. Is it possible that um, the actions by school officials could potentially lead to criminal charges? I don't know what that information is, and I think it would be wrong for me to make any assumptions. But that's why I think it's so critical that this investigation be done. As the community continues to grieve, Scott Taylor, co-owner of Sick Pizza in Oxford, offered pizzas for donations. We're at $53,000. Dozens of volunteers, many of them Oxford students, helped raise more than $80,000. So many people want to help the kids stop hurting and the teachers stop hurting and the community stop hurting. And there's not always an outlet to do that. And Taylor says 100% of those donations are going to the victims' families. The funeral for Tate Meir, one of the four students killed, is tomorrow. Elaine? Michael George, thank you. Former Empire actor Jesse Smollett took the witness stand Monday in his own defense. Smollett is charged with lying to Chicago police about being the victim of an alleged hate crime in 2019. Charlie DeMar reports.